roller coasters were first built with wood. Then, we realized steel was easier to profile. They became scarce in the industry. They almost became forgotten. We banked the steel track in ways that could have never been imagined. And then, we found solutions. Today, I'm going to be looking at the greatest wooden roller coasters I have ridden. Let's get right to it. It was very hard picking one over the other, but I had to make a few tough choices. I haven't ridden many coasters, so keep that in mind. Starting it off at number 5 is Viper. I only got to ride this coaster once. The one time I rode it, I thought it was mediocre. The reason I like it so much is its length. When you get to that final brake run, this thing will leave you satisfied. It's nice to see a ride that gives you what you want after waiting so long in lines. It's worth it. I don't usually like to mention the negatives, but man was this coaster rough. Viper is praised for its airtime, but honestly I really don't recall some of the elements. I sat in the middle of the train also, so it may not have been as strong. Up next is Zeus. I had visited Mount Olympus as a kid, and always wanted to ride this coaster. I never built up the courage until a few years ago. I only got one ride because we weren't planning on staying a while. I sat in the very front of both Cyclops and Zeus. Like Viper, I don't remember the ride too much. But what I do know is, this thing hauls. It has excellent pacing and brings it all the way to the brake run. If this train had more padding, I think it would move a few spots up, maybe even into my top 10. At the number 3 spot is Zippin' Pippin. This was my first ever roller coaster, so it was special to me. A few years ago, I wasn't a fan. I rode it in the front after a trip from Six Flags Great America. I really wasn't impressed. But then, this year, I had heard so many rave reviews on it that I wanted to drive back to really see if it held up. I gave it my first back row ride and was blown away. Not only was it butter smooth, but it had world class airtime. I was out of my seat the entirety of the ride due to the restraint room. After getting off, I debated putting it at my number one spot. Nine rides later in the back, I lowered it a bit, but still, it blows my mind no matter how many times I ride it. Up next, at number two, we have Hades 360. This was my most anticipated roller coaster as a kid. After riding Cyclops and Zeus, I ran right to this coaster. After getting off, my mind was blown. It was better than what I had anticipated and my expectations were high. I gave it a second ride in the middle again and still was blown away. The pacing is insane and the airtime is phenomenal. In all honesty, it isn't the most re-rideable because it gives a minor headache after two rides. However, it instantly went to my number one spot after two rides, until I took a trip out to Six Flags Square in America. I think if I gave it a back row ride, it would be my number one, but I still have yet to ride it in the back. Finally, at the number one spot is Goliath at Six Flags Great America. I rode this on my second ever trip to Great America. My favorite element was by far the drop. I was expecting it to be number two in the park, and those expectations were met. I had never experienced a near vertical drop before, so it was really cool and unique for me. Out of the 2019 season, I have only ridden it six times. Each time I rode it, in row two, or the front. I'm not much of a front row person, but I was assigned there every time. I need to ride this in the back row still, but once I do, 
I could see this going ahead of my current number one. If you made it this far into the video, tell me what's your number one wooden roller coaster and tell me what you think of my rankings in the comments. Don't forget to drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on to see more videos just like this. For everyone who stuck until the end, I will reward you with one last montage.